So today I just want to make a quick video to share with you guys how I'm backing up a Ugreen DXP4800 Plus NAS to a Synology DS920 Plus using the R-Sync utility which is built into both devices. Let's get right to it. So first I want to just show you the process that I have set up. I'm running sync and backup on the Ugreen NAS. You can see my target device is on line here. We're going to go to backup and restore now and you can see the actual backup task. Over on the DS920 Plus, all you have to do is make sure you enable the rsync server that's under the file services under the rsync tab. Just enable rsync service and apply the changes. That's all you have to do on the Synology. Let's go back over to the DXP4800 Plus. We'll do a quick backup. And just to show you that everything is working properly, let's go into the actual shared folder. We'll delete a few files and then we'll run a restore process. So we'll remove the January 10th show logo and the home office spreadsheet and then we'll run the restore. We'll go back into the sync and backup utility. We'll come down to backup and restore and now we'll click on restore and go through the wizard. We're going to select from backup task. We're going to select the version and the folder. You can see the task was successful. Let's go now into the shared folder and we should see the two files that were deleted restored. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and create a new shared folder. We're gonna hit the plus sign, select new shared folder. We'll call it YouTube RSync Demo. You select your volume, you could select your volume usage if you prefer. You could also choose to hide the folder from the network neighbors. click create and then on this screen here you're going to go ahead and set your folder permissions accordingly. Once the folder permissions are set you are pretty much good to go. And here on this screen you can see we have our new YouTube rsync demo shared folder. So next we're going to go into the sync and backup utility on the Ugreen NAS. And then we'll come over to Backup and Restore and we're going to click Add to add a new backup task. We're going to backup from Ugreen NAS to a remote rsync server. We're just going to follow the wizard here. Now the first time you do this, you've got to set up your connection. Once you've done it, you have existing connections to choose from. But to new connection, you would set up your IP, your port, your username and password so you could authenticate. And then here it says select backup. Actually to me this would be select the source folder that you want to back up. But Ugreen is referring to it as a backup target. And here we're going to select the backup destination. And now here we could set up the backup plan on a schedule. You can enable backup versions. So we'll do that and then we'll just change the number of retained versions from 256 over to 10 for this demo. Click next. We're going to give the task a name. You could choose to back up immediately after creation, but we're going to skip that for this demonstration. Once we name it, we'll click confirm. Here you can see the YouTube rsync demo has been created. So there you go, a quick step-by-step -step easy guide to setting up the rsync utility between a Ugreen NAS and a Synology NAS. How do you back up your NAS? Let me know down in the comments below. If you'd like to see more content like this, please click the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.